Shut up and sit Hello, down. everyone. Welcome to my channel. I am the Cyber Reef Guru, and I just want to do a quick tutorial on some lessons I've learned on Slicer versus Simplify 3D recently, uh, which have really uh, slowed me down for the last couple of days, but I just want to do a quick show here. Uh, so what you see in front of you is Slicer with this uh, snake model that I've printed a couple times, actually probably almost 10 times now of different colors, different people, whatever. It's very popular with the kids. Uh, but I have set it up here with 20% uh, infill, um, two perimeters, four tops, three bottoms. Uh, it's just kind of straightforward out of the box settings. There was no magic here. This is one of the very first prints I made. Um, Download it from Thingiverse. I'll put the link in the description if you're interested in it. Uh, but what I want to show you here is the preview. Um, something that I've learned after I downloaded and purchased uh, Simplify 3D. And I've been trying to print this snake for the last two and a half days using the settings in Simplify 3D and I was able to narrow down what was going on. So I just want to focus you in here on these ribs here, these backbones. Uh, this is actually the core of the snake. You can see how it builds up. Um, and then it actually creates a little loop. And then it fills in and then closes the loop. And then that makes the snake so you can move the snake after it's done being built. Um, so this is a 20% infill in uh, Slicer. So what you'll notice here is these little loops that form the backbone of the snake have some infill at 20% infill, a little bit of dots in here on a couple of these guys. So real quick, switch over to Simplify 3D. Same exact model is uh, loaded here. And I will change it to 20% infill. Click OK, prepare to print. And then I will scale down and then zoom in. What you will see here is I futzed around with a couple of those settings, but in long, the long and short of it is that as, it's, as these little posts start being built up, you'll notice a lot more of them here do not have any infill whatsoever. And I'm going to go back and actually reset one setting and show you what I started with on infill setting here. Uh, this uh, extrusion infill width was, uh, I'm sorry, minimum infill, uh, infill length was set to three millimeters. So if I hit OK, prepare to print here. Um, show you what we, what we end up with is none of these ribs have any infill whatsoever uh, and that was actually causing when it was printing you can see there's only two perimeters here uh, there was really no um, nothing going on in there whatsoever and the layers were not sticking well at all uh, so I went back I compared and contrast the settings so I've been printing this thing for quite some time uh, off of uh, Slicer, and that's when I stumbled across this. I thought changing the infill to zero here would would fill it in. Um, and prepare to print real quick. I'll show you real quick. Uh, it it didn't. Uh, I, that was very surprising to me. Um, you'll see here that um, most of these ribs again are hollow. Uh, and I, um, I, I don't know what to say there. I mean, if there's no minimum inf infill length, there should be, because this is a hollow infill here, a hollow structure. It should be just like this guy here that has a little bit of something. So I uh, went back, tweaked the settings even more, ultimately jacked the infill percentage, uh, percentage up to 100%. I click prepare to print. Uh, and it is worth noting here, by the way, none of these settings really had a significant uh, impact on the, the print time, so that's good news. Uh, but you'll notice here as we build this up, most of the holes now suddenly have infill in them. Um, not dissimilar to our friend Slicer over here. 
at 20% infill. So, very interesting to me. Um, you can definitely see the print density here from a slicer perspective versus pure uh, Simplify 3D. Um, obviously, 100% infill is significantly um, more dense, but we're getting that fill that we need in the holes to make them solid. Um, significant, significant difference in settings. Um, don't know what to say uh, other than I've been experimenting with this now for two and a half days trying to figure out what was going on, why my uh, snakes were not printing properly. And uh, that's what I've stumbled across. So you might be able to hear the printer in the background. Um, I printed uh, one of these from Slicer and I am uh, nearly finished with this snake from uh, Simplify 3D and uh, so far it looks fantastic. Pull them both off the printer real soon. Um, and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, uh, I'll be uh, right back as soon as they're finished and I'll show you the, the final product. Thanks. Okay, so welcome back. Uh, done both of the prints. One was Slicer, one was Simplify 3D, and they turned out both very, very well. So I'm going to show you some quick videos on the two parts. What you're seeing here is the Slicer part printed uh, on the Prusa i3 Mark II. You can see it turned out very well. Uh, the connections and the ribs here are fantastic, as I was expecting. Uh, you can see they're fully built out, um, good layer adhesion, uh, very high quality part. This is really the model that I first printed um, and I've been trying to replicate. Next, what you're seeing here is the same model printed on Simplify 3D on the Persia i3 Mark II. You can see it turned out just about as well. A little stringing in the ribs. Uh, I didn't have retraction turned on. I didn't have the Z-Hop turned on, not sure which. Uh, but you can see in the center here, it turned out very, very well. Uh, much better than it's been turning out in the past. You saw the pictures from before. So um, I'm excited by that. Um, good results. Uh, next, what you're gonna see is the side-by-side. I really can't tell too much of a difference between the two. Um, I think they both turned out very well uh, across the board, so I'm excited by the results from Simplify, uh, despite the big difference in the in the parts uh, settings there. So, okay, well, I hope you can see from the uh, videos there that uh, the two different settings, although um, vastly different, really produced uh, really the same quality and model. I'm excited by the outcome. I'm excited to uh, press on with what I started doing a couple days ago of multicolor printing of the snake. So I uh, really appreciate uh, you guys watching. If you like the uh, video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, as always, if you don't like the video, give it a thumbs up anyway. And uh, have a great evening and uh, hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye.